Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. Don't forget the vibes now. You already know we're talking to your girl Chef Beauty and welcome to another episode of Cook with Chef Beauty, Chef Beauty's Kitchen. In today's episode, we are going to be cooking porridge. A, a fans of mine requested for it and I wanted to give her a shout out. She said no that she doesn't want and I need to respect her opinion and her decision. So guys, please, once you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, mm -hmm. subscribe and click on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a new video, you will be notified. Thank you. Bye-bye. I love you. So this is our ingredients here. This is my yam. You can see the yam is properly and neatly washed. Without being told, you can see it. It's glaring. Then this is my tomato. This is the tomato, you know. You know how much I love this tomato guys because it's already um half blended. Then this is my crayfish, my pepper, and uh, it's hot pepper. <laughs> hot pepper, very hot pepper, and then um, my onions. Guys, this is going into my blend. I'm gonna blend this with this tomato here. I'm gonna blend it. So this is my beef water. This is the water I got from parboiling the my meat. This is my meat. I've already fried it because I made it to be dry because when I, I put it inside the stew before the yam. So I don't want it to be too soft. I want it to be a little bit crunchy. <laughs> so this is my prawn. Hmm. This is my prawn. It's already been fried already with some sauce. You can see some sauce in it. I added some black pepper, some little salt, and um, some little ingredients inside. This is my stock fish. It's properly and neatly washed. As you can see, it. it's very. I've already washed everything. Then this is my grand. Uh, this is my crayfish. This is my crayfish. And this is my paprika is also washed and guys if you are using paprika in Germany I don't know how you know how your paprika is being made in some other countries if you are using it in Germany you have to wash it very well and you don't need to wash your paprika with hot water because if you wash it with hot water the paprika is already wet already so when you wash it with hot water to make it to be too soft to be too soft then I don't like it when I'm eating spinach or vegetable and it's too soft. So if you want your vegetable to be a little bit crunchy, so you wash it with cold water and a little salt so that the green, you wash your vegetable until you don't see that green color coming out from the water. That is when your vegetable is neatly washed because if you still leave some green water if you are still seeing some green water when you use it to cook your stew or you want to use it to cook stew or anything you will see the soup will be very it will be dark that is just a little secret mm -hmm. it will be very dark if you don't wash your spinach very well it will be very very dark so guys you've seen all the ingredients we are using for our yam porridge and this is my onions as usual <laughs> So you can see everything now. So now, the first thing I'll be doing is to blend this with this, my tomatoes. So guys, let's go. So I'll be blending the crayfish. Now I told you guys I'm not going to use water as usual. Is this um, tomato case that I'm this tomato? This is I'm going to use to blend it. I'm not going to use water. This is what I'm going to use to blend my. So I've already put my granola oil, you can see it. So I want to leave it for like maybe one minute or two minutes to get hot very well. I want it to bleach very well. So now guys, I think it's properly bleached now. So I'll be adding my onion. Okay. It gets hot. Okay. 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 So the next thing I'll be going in with my blended crayfish, pepper, tomatoes and everything. So you can see the face. The face is like this because of the crayfish I blended with it. So next thing guys, I'm going in with my my maggi, this maggi, chicken, the chicken flavor. The chicken flavor, this is what I'm using. Mm. 
then you stir it. Note, guys, if you don't, if you are the type that you don't really like crayfish, you can reduce your crayfish when blending with the pepper and everything and the onions. I mean, so you can reduce it. You can just, you know, the way to gauge it now. You can just reduce it from blending and from putting it inside. Guys, right, you can see the face of the stew. You will leave it to fry a little bit. Just let it fry. So, just let it fry a little bit. So, I'm going to leave it for like three to four minutes at least to fry a little bit before I go in with the rest ingredients. Guys, I waited for like five minutes for the stew to steam up. So, you can see it now. So the next thing I'll be adding now is my my stock fish. Because I want I want to feel the taste of the stock fish. And this is my meat. You can see that the meat is properly dry. In fact, eh, I made it to be dry. Because the the meat is still going to be staying long inside the, the stew. So can you see it? So when you are frying your meat, make sure your meat is not too dry, but at least dry in a way that it will be obvious that it's dry. Can you see? So that when you put it in your stew, because this stew, I'm still going to leave it for extra five minutes again. You understand? Before I will still come back and put the remaining things inside. It has been told, can you see the face of the stew now? camera is not doing justice to today's stew I wish you could see the, the face of the stew so guys the next thing I'll be adding now I'll be adding my meat water so this you can see it now. I'm adding my meat water. I'm, already, I'm just staying it for you. Just two minutes. Then we are still going to leave it again, cover it, and leave it for like um, three three minutes. I say three minutes. So the next thing I'll be doing, you can see the water boiling. You make sure that the water you put inside must boil. So I'm going to go in with just a little salt because you know I've already season my crayfish i mean the prawn i mean not crayfish the prawn so i've already seasoned it so i'm just going to go in with just little salt for now so the next thing i'll be going in is our yam the odogu itself the reason why i've been talking 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 since morning this is the reason so guys i just incorporate my my yam so you are going to stir it, mix it together. <laughs> mix it together and stir it very, very well. Mix it together and stir it. Then you do what? You cover it. You let it steam for a while. Guys, can you see it now? So the yam is properly boiled now. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to match some part of some part of the yam. We will match it. I have to drop the camera now because of the smoke. You can see it. Oh my god, the smoke is too much. So I'll be going in with my crown. I see the face now so I'll be going in with my spinach now there's the time to add the spinach oh my god the smoke the smoke smoke the smoke is so much so oh my gosh the smoke is too much so the spinach is inside now Oh my gosh, this smoke. 
This more can be a uh, vapor. I don't know. Oh god. It's not making you people to see it very well. So can you see it? I have to bend the camera so that you guys can see it. There you go. So can you see? So <clears throat> I've already had a spinach. Can you see the face of our? It's not red because there is no paprika inside. So that is why it's not red. That is why I had it more pepper. So it will not be only tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. So guys, this the flame or is it smoke? I don't even know what to say. Coming out from the distance is not doing justice to the camera, so I think it's reducing now. I think it's reducing now. So I will have to take the camera off then. Once it's done, because I'm gonna cover it for a while to for the spinach to steam up a little bit, then I will take it off. Then when the the smoke coming out, it is if if it's reduced for some time, then I will. I will show it when I'm serving it. So this is how the porridge looks like. <laughs> 